Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Today we're going to do a wild edibles video on the arrowhead plant. Now there's several varieties of this. Uh, some of them are just real small, real thin. This is the most common one in the United States. Um, all the species are edible. As far as the plant goes, they only eat them when they're just, just little sprouts in the spring. But what they do do is eat the tubers like potatoes. And now we're going to dig up and see if we can find some of those tubers. Um, but I had to do this video so that we could uh, identify it because the best time to pick them is when these get yellow and they start to die off because then all that starch is going down into that tuber. But let's take a closer look at this and then we'll see if we can't find any of them. You can see this is pretty clear. Now this always grows in pondy areas, wet areas, sometimes like, like right now, if you can see this. This is right in water. It can also be right on the edge of the water. And like I said, these are the broadleaf ones. They're quite big, and you see some of them that are, they go like this, and then just like this. And then there's one that's kind of in between that has more ribs in it, more distinct ribs. But anyway, we're lucky enough today, you can see this actually has one of the flower stalks are coming up. You can see that, okay? So we really get a good view of this plant. And I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen them, if you have them around there, and they're always in these wet areas. And we have a real lot of them back here. This is back by the second pond. And now the Native Americans, they used to collect these tubers. They would go with their feet under the water and then the tubers would float to the top. And they would collect them and you eat them like a potato. You can fry them, you can um, boil them, you can bake them. And they would throw them onto the fire and just cook them that way. But they would also take and they would uh, hang them up on the top of their teepees and dry them. And then they could use them in the winter time by boiling them to reconstitute them. So let's see, let's try to find a spot here and we'll try to dig up and see if there are any tubers right now that are forming. You can see that they're growing along here, but there really aren't any tubers that have started on this one yet. And they grow right along the bottom of these, these uh, roots or rhizomes that go through the ground. And I believe that this is what's going to be that tuber. And I don't want to ruin too many of these because I'm going to be coming back in a month and a half and picking them, but let's check a couple more. Okay, so we have no tubers yet, but you guys got to get a good look at this plant because right now would be the time to go out and ID it. So you know where it is, mark the location, and then when these leaves die off, we're going to come back and we're going to get some of these tubers and we're going to cook them up. Well, I checked a couple more and I, I could not find anything. So at least now we know how to ID the plant. Like I said, go out, you know, get it marked right now. And then later on this fall, let's get some cooked up. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.